Welcome to a nice, crisp, clear night in Imperium Galactic Survival. You can see it's minus 41 outside, and we are currently stood on the top of a radius missile base. This is the base that I attacked in the last part, and if you follow the series and watch the last part, you'll be aware that I recorded that part using a 1440 monitor attached to my voice machine, and my new gaming machine has arrived. It's now been put together and this is my second recording at 1440 60 frames per second and things are looking really great. I mean the the graphics has gone up definitely another level. Everything's nice and smooth. The, the graphics card is handling everything here. But what I will say guys is that when this goes up onto YouTube it will be in 1080 30 frames per second. Now the reason for that is that I'm going to need a little bit of time to get used to the rendering times and, and more importantly the upload times because my internet isn't particularly brilliant. There's no point in me creating large video files if, I cut, if it's going to take me hours to upload them. So the idea is that I'm going to record everything at 1440, 60 frames per second except for one or two old games like the Rome 2 strategy game and then downscale it to, for upload and then eventually the idea is that I will move these over to 1440 60 frames per second on YouTube um, and it will be mainly the games that benefit most which will probably will be Imperium, No Man's Sky and then the, the older strategy games will probably stay on 1080 30 frames per second or maybe 1080 60 frames per second but we're just gonna have to see how things go and I mean just to give you guys an idea of what the graphics looks like I was just fiddling around with this just before I started recording and let's turn the light on so you can actually see this ship's a little bit damaged but see how crisp nice and clear the, the even the repair bay is here let's go just repair this so that if i need to if I, this ship comes under fire it won't get destroyed straight away and, and what i want to do in this part is we're going to go down into the base and capture it and i think i'm going to need to make a call come to think of it just so that you guys can see the the improvement in the um, graphics and see everything's a lot more clearer and I'm looking forward to doing it and this will be my first uh, POI with with this option enabled and I think we're gonna have some fun with it guys I must admit I'm really looking forward to um, having the improved graphics and expanding what I can and can't do on the channel anyway so let's get that down there. I think I've rambled on enough about the future. Let's just get down to the nuts and bolts of the game. So I suppose I'd better just top up the oxygen. We're a little bit low on food. I think... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. The other thing I want to do is just go in here. Uh, oh, I thought I might have had some drinks. Okay. We're going to get... That can come out. Actually... Uh, let me just do a quick check. I don't... Yeah, we can make some veggie drinks. So I've got seven veggie drinks here. Uh, I think if that comes out, I can make, say, make another ten. That should be okay. And that would mean that if, if I need to repair my health on the way down, I'll be good. Now I'm not going to loot the cargo boxes or anything on this level simply because I can do that once I've actually captured the base and I think the first room is pretty safe and if I remember I'm running on memory now and I think if I can come down here I think this room is pretty safe and I think there's another turret over there Oh, I thought I'd got him. Okay. And I should have had something to eat, shouldn't I? Uh, 106. Maybe we're... Just use up the salamis to start with. But I'm not... Okay. I feel comfortable and satisfied. And, well, we got... don't really want to like coffee around. I don't... There's nothing in the locker. It's great. Ah, that's not fair. And I think the next floor down, life gets a little bit more interesting. 
yeah, there's some got some Xerox guys here. I think we're fully loaded. Down a bit. Gotcha. All three of you. Let's uh, get rid of that. And we got another sandwich. Okay, let's get down. These guys definitely like their sandwiches. Grab that. And oh, well, we could have got that coffee cup anyway. And I think that's it. There might be another spawner around here. Yep, there is. Now you can go through here. Let's just blast our way through here. And if I think if you go through here and drop down, I think you can. And I think if you come through here, there's a, a couple of always here and this okay what's the heck was shooting at me I think there's a turret probably in there somewhere I don't know how he was able to shoot me through the wall and there's another one there and that drops you down into a room behind a whole load of heavies but we don't really want to do that there's a another room here I'm not sure where that is, but that could be. Yeah, let's just yeah that's it drops you down into a tunnel, and I think this drops you down into another tunnel. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do is go through the proper way, or uh, yeah, wait, perhaps I turn my jetpack on. Oops, I'm just going to go through here, back out. Oops, hello guys. This takes you to this room. Okay. Put that there. And so you've got these very shortcuts that you can do. You don't have to fight your way up down or through all these corridors. I'm just gonna and I think this brings you back to this is the room where we come through so we've effectively done that and because we got the spawners before there was nothing un horrible hiding behind the doors so that was the way through Peace. And we've got a burger. We're not going to run out of food if nothing else. I'm just going to. What this? What's this here? Phoenix fern frond. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab this. Looks like we're just going to fill this up. Our inventory up already. That's got a short perish time. I wouldn't mind taking that back to. Right, we've got that here. And. I think what I'm going to do guys is there's more behind that so what I'm going to do is just loot this room and then we're going to I'm going to go back up to that's where we came up and as I, say, I can just loot this room and then I'm going to go back to the ship and drop this off and then we will go to the next stage I mean there's a good chance I may not actually finish this in this part because it's quite a long POI. I'm just going to grab these down this wall. The oxygen will be quite useful. And grab this. And grab that. That's some hydrogen. Okay, I'll we'll take that. And a few a bit more hydrogen. Okay. I'm just going to go back to the ship now and drop off that. There's no point. 
going further there's a lot more good stuff further down and we're going to keep going up actually can we oh, well we can stack that on the way through might as well yeah. well we got one of them just saves a little bit of work once we pause didn't notice that and lost one of my lights from the front of my ship but that's not a problem uh, well, we could shove some of this stuff in the mobile constructor well, not much at all in the mobile constructor actually I think most of this can go into that doesn't have a perish time that has a perish time that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't don't need the surplus ammunition. We've got the drinks, uh, the food, and that. I think that some of this can go into the fridge. I certainly want that. I'm not sure about trumpet greens. Uh, we can drop that in as well for the moment. And actually, let's just done it again. Keep on pressing F instead of. Uh, so I'm just going to. Quick look at the fridge. I think we're just need that because that will fill that gap up there. And we're just going to make our way back. I'll see you once I get back to the where we left off. Right here we are, guys. We're here. I'm not sure if I can open this door. Yeah, it says F2. Right, I think I don't really want to stay. Golden rule is never stand in front of doors. A quick reload. And another quick reload. Gotcha. Is that it? Make sure there's no spawner up around here. Yeah, there's the other one. Got you. And of course we've got another layered room down here. I'm just gonna grab that. And what this room does is well, actually I don't know why I'm using this, we'll just use some. If I open this room up this time. What you'll see is this now comes down to here and through here there's a couple of these and this opens up into a room here now this room drops down behind a, a whole series of mech noids but in some ways it's easier to go the proper way so we're just going to come here Oops. We go out the entrance or exit, whatever way you want to call it, and that's the way we came in. Just gonna make sure we're fully loaded. I'm just gonna get on this side because I'm right handed. Oh, this is the room. This is a control room that overlooks down into here and these are all armoured blocks, so even with explosives, it's quite difficult to get through here. But the trick is to and okay. right, it's going to move forward a bit up into here. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the spawners. Because the threat is actually down below and behind us. The threat is actually down there. I get the sniper rifle. Oh, we can get rid of the spawner. Let's go and quick reload. I should, really should have brought a rocket launcher with me. Because on the on, behind this lot is actually Down here, to see the turrets come out. Get rid of 
him. This is where, actually, if I change to the Hart's laser rifle. Gotcha. And. and right, let's change back to here. Should be able to take these guys down. And just do a quick reload. And, and another reload. I must have, oh, though I must admit, guys, with the improved graphics, this using the sniper rifle is a lot better. And another quick reload. We got plenty. How much ammunition we got? Oh, we got plenty of ammunition. And again, and if you see the door there, that's where you would have dropped into if you'd used the shortcut. The problem is, oh crap. Stand still, please. I think we can now. Let's just get over here. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got a nice pile of loot here, if nothing else. I'll restore my pistol ammunition. And I've got a power cell. Okay. I thought there'd be two here. Okay. Got a, a bit more ammunition. And a, bit, a few more pistol rounds. And it's going to and well, that door should be we should be fine with that door and filling up our inventory again but I think this is a hazard I think this is another door we're gonna to have to blast our way through I'm not sure. I think this room is actually empty, but we're not going to take a chance. Okay. Okay. Now I do know that there's some pretty anti-social guys behind here. So I think what I need to do is just make sure we're fully reloaded again. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, just for the fun of it guys, I've got I've got plenty of explosives, so and I think by using explosives it means I don't have to be we can pull back here and yep coming still coming coming back at us that's the advantage of using explosives is that you you're not you don't have to stay close to the door Ow, okay. Just reload. Ah. Just reload both weapons. Wow. So much for that idea. <laughs> What's the mini gunner? Um, okay. Got a bit more food. Just make sure we've got everyone. Have a 
quick look there. Okay, we're okay, fine. And a bit more ammunition. There's a spawn over there. Got rid of that. And just pushing our way up through here. Ooh, what's round behind this door? Around this corner. I hate going round corners. You just never know what's round there. No, looks the room looks empty. There is actually I think there's another door there. Now as far as I know, this is a door that goes into a blind room. But we could take it down, it will save us a little bit of grief later on once we've actually taken the the actual base. Plus, I think when I did this space in a previous part, I didn't actually go into this room. Okay. Um, wow, I didn't realise how much damage I'd taken. Okay, let's just get well away back here. Yeah, he's he's going to be okay. He's a long way away. I'm just gonna <sighs> pop two of these and some of these. Just gets our health back right back up again. So now these guys can actually fire through. Yeah, reload on the run. Now I mean I was in cover there, and they were still able to shoot, shoot, shoot me up a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. But Let's just bring up one of those. Ah. Reload. Walked into that, didn't I? There was quite a few guys in this, this room. Um, it's got a lot of damage. But we're going to be okay, guys. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, there's a spawner there. Get rid of the spawner. Okay, this is. Uh, got loads of these, so I think I'll, I'll shoot one of these first. And, and we're a bit low on food, so I could always pop some food, this is going to give me 14 health, that's going to give me no further health at all it's going to give me a tiny bit of health well, what we can do is just pop that and we'll pop another one of these right, what have we got in here? I think this is just an empty room. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's no exits or anything like this. This is just like a, you could almost say it's like a trap for people. But we can get some power from here. So I'm just going to grab some power. And I'll just grab this on the way through. Just make looting the, the base once I've taken it a little bit easier. And lots and lots of junk, nothing of really high value. Oh, we got that guy. Right, let's. Oh, so there's a spawner there which I've missed. Luckily, nothing had spawned. 
think this is a, another wrought room we've got to bust our way through. So let's just get up into a firing position here. Blast our way through. Maybe if I just be a bit more cautious here right this is a room with two doors now if I'm correctly that's the way out this is just a room with a turret in I should show you anyway guys so we're just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna so we've got plenty of ammunition so and the turret is just about there. Whoops, out of ammunition. Oof. Luckily, the turret hasn't seen me yet. But yeah, as far as I know, the only thing we got in here is a nice big red goodie jar. Uh, we got some heavy armor, some pentaxid. Effective against indigestion. Explosive am ammunition. I'm kind of inclined to take that. That don't really need the laser rifle. And what we're going to do is golden rule. Never stand in front of doors. Because I'm pretty sure there's a another turret. And there it is. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'm just gonna don't think there's yeah, I think what this does is it takes you down to a pretty unpleasant place actually. So I think we're just gonna come through here. I think that's close enough and we're just going to cut down through here yeah this room is a little bit tricky because you've got turrets over there which is going to shoot at me right guys I think what I'm going to do is leave it here in the next part we will go down into the basement and actually take this point of interest what I will do off camera is go up and offload all this stuff so that when we're down in the basement I've got room to loot stuff and but there's no point me traipsing up with you to offload this stuff I'll do that off camera and what I will say guys is if you've got any thoughts opinions on the the new graphic settings or uploads rendering any trips any of you guys run your own channel I'll be happy to hear any feedback you've got and but this is where I'm gonna leave it I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do Enjoy your gaming.